Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a very quick Elden Ring video showing you how to get the Rivers of Blood uh, Samurai Sword or just, it's a sword. Uh, katana, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's very simple to get, but there is one condition. You got to be before Fire Giant. If you haven't defeated Fire Giant yet, yet this summon would work. I believe that's how it goes. I'm under the impression that if you do defeat Fire Giant, then this invasion doesn't take place. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in offline mode or online mode. This is an NPC invasion that is scripted to happen, so regardless of your online situation, it will happen. So you don't need PS Plus or Xbox Live or anything like that, or internet at all to do this. You want to make your way to the Church of Repose, I believe it's called, which is in the snowy area of the map. It's like near Fire Giant's arena. is right before him, and it's a church up here, and you can get a sacred tear in there as well. Uh, but whenever you walk up to it, I'm on my horse right here. As you can see, uh, you're, you kind of get off your horse. This just happens. You just get off your horse, and this means that an invasion is about to occur. And once you walk up, you'll see that you're being invaded by, I believe it's Bloody Finger Okina or something like that. And you can go over there and fight him now. He does pack a punch. Uh, I'm a very high-level character. This is on New Game Plus. I believe I'm like level 200 or something with max katanas. Fighting him wasn't too crazy. And I'm used to Sekiro's buttons, so I was like pressing L1 to block and everything. I, I was tripping. Once you do defeat him, though, you'll see that you'll get the Rivers of Blood katana. There you go. There it is. One of them. I don't know where to get another one unless you new game plus this and come back and fight this guy again. As you can see, I have two of them so I can dual wield them. Now, they're both base level, so I'm not going to be doing much damage with them. Where I've killed this guy in a previous game save, like on before New Game Plus, and I came back and did it again, I was able to have two of them. Now, they do cost uh, somber smithing stones to upgrade, so if you do have the bell bearings at the round table, you'll be spending a whole lot of runes on somber smithing stones to fully upgrade these. Now, I don't, I don't know how many somber ancient dragon smithing stones are in the game. I've heard a rumor that there's like 10 or something. There could be far less than that or more. In Bloodborne, there was only one blood rock. So you can only plus 10 one singular weapon unless you went really deep into chalice dungeons or you had the DLC. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Just wanted to show you guys this video. This video is going to be shorter than I anticipated. But yeah, uh, if you guys did like this video, drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and sub button. You'll see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. LBB, you done did them dirty, fool.